the NGOs. This organization are the only one who do have any influence and very positive influence today. That is, from my point of view, what is the most important things to do. Now, I have been visiting camps and I have been able to see uh, how much suffering uh, it exists in these camps, especially for children. And I was very touched by that. Do you think the aid agencies are coping? The, the aid agencies? UNICEF? And yes, Oxford. yes, of course. Yes, of course. And I think it's a lot of collaboration with all these uh, organizations that will come up with a, a good result soon, I hope, really. Because very quick, we will have some uh, geographical changes and uh, very heavy rains, yeah, that's, from my point of view, will generate other problems that, and that's the reason why it is so urgent to, to, to fight and to try to help these people to regain their, their country. What else do you think could be done that isn't being done at the moment? Well, I think that's already a very, very hard and difficult task to do. Do you think on the ground the food and the water and the supplies are getting to people? Yes, as quickly as they can. Yes, but it's not not uh, enough from my point of view. And to feed and to to give uh, drinks to to two to three million people, you need uh, a much much bigger cooperation and collaboration. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Personal thoughts on? Well, I, I was extremely, you know, I'm very attached to Africa, especially to Zaire and Rwanda for obvious uh, reason. And I was extremely sad to see how the situation here is uh, getting worse every day. But thanks to the help of the NGOs and international organizations, I hope really sincere that we will get to a normal solution very quick. Okay, thank you very much. Good evening. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, well, yeah, uh,